Hey guys, welcome to a quick video about the AMD RX 480 graphics card. I actually had the chance to test this card a few days ago, so um, today is Monday for me and I will publish this video on Wednesday because of NDA, obviously. Um, but uh, the thing is, I actually didn't really want to make a video about this card, but um, there was such a huge hype about this card before. Um, I remember just a few days before Computex, AMD invited a lot of people to Macau. Um, around Hong Kong um, just to make a big PR event about this card so there was a huge hype going on and a lot of people expected uh, great performance from this card obviously it's not a high-end graphics card so it's not meant to beat for example the GTX 1080 still uh, people ex are expecting a lot from this so I had al also, I also had huge, huge expectations so I tested this card quickly uh, with Firestrike and Firestrike Extreme so first of all, let's take a look at this uh, Firestrike result. Uh, so Firestrike is full HD, so it's kind of a little bit more CPU limited, not limited, but CPU helps. So you can see my CPU is uh, i7 6700K and it's running at 4.5 gigahertz. And you can see on the left side, the RX 480 card, which has a GPU clock of 1266 megahertz. And I also checked the GPU frequency during the benchmark and it always stayed on the same level, so there was no uh, clock drop or anything like this. So on the right side, you can see 10,800 points um, in the normal fire strike. So the question is, uh, I mean, how, how much is 10,800, right? So um, you can always check the HWBot database. So for example, this is the um, GTX 980 rank from uh, rank 180 to 200. And you can see that this is ex exactly the same region, so around um, stock, you have the GTX um, 970 running at 1200 to 1300. In this region, you also get 10,800 points. So this is rather disappointing from my point of view. So let's take a look at the Firestrike Extreme result. Same CPU settings, same GPU settings, just a different resolution. Um, so you can see the final result is 5,316 5, points. Of course, I ran the benchmark several times just to be sure it's uh, always the same performance but it always stayed between 5300 and 5350 points so it's kind of um, stable. So again we will take a look at the HWBot database um, again for the GTX 970 and you can see the, again the card running at around stock or with a little bit of more boost um, you can see it easily gets 5500 points. So what's the big deal about this card? Honestly, I'm kind of a little bit um, disappointed. There was such a, such a huge hype going on with the media and considering that the price will be around the same as GTX 970, I really cannot understand the big hype about this card. Uh, obviously, it's a good card for the, for the price, don't get me wrong, but considering that a GTX 970 has been around for quite a while now, I kind of expected more from the RX uh, 480. So, um, at least in Germany, if I check the prices for the GTX 970, I can get it for around um, 240-250 euro new um, EVGA superclocked, for example. So the, um, obviously, I don't know the exact prices yet of the um, RX 480, but uh, working at Case King, I can get off an idea for the prices of the card, and it will be a little bit higher than the cheapest 970. So it's kind of, yeah, not so cool. So. Let me know what you think about the card. Do you want to see more of this card? Do you want to see overclocking or anything uh, specific? Please drop a comment down below. Uh, I will do my best uh, to answer and maybe do some more testing of the card if you want to. Of course, I can get a card if you want to see it. So uh, I just need to know what you, what you guys are up to. Anyway, uh, have a nice Wednesday. See you soon.